Google has released Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking. It is number one across the board. Also the top two is Gemini. Notable improvement from the previous Gemini 2.0 Flash. Beating every other model. Number one in Vision Arena. The previous Flash version was on number three, but now it's number one in the overall leaderboard. And Google is not stopping here. OpenAI is clearly down the list. It's built on 2.5 Flash speed and performance. This model is trained to use thoughts to strengthen its reasoning. Promising results when we increase inference time computation. So this is exactly where we are heading towards, adding reasoning to all our models. And this is available in Google AI Studio. Just go to the models list. There you should be able to see Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking Experimental. Click on that. You can see the pricing on the left hand side. For now, it is in preview mode. So we are going to test this and see how this compares with other models. Let's get started. We are going to do programming test, logical and reasoning test, and then misguided attention test. So first, programming test. Going for Python expert level challenge, least common multiple. Asking the large language model to create a function to generate least common multiple. So copying the instruction and asking the large language model here, clicking run. Now it's thinking. So this is the key difference. You can see the thought process happened before responding. The thinking is I need to write a Python function called LCM. Then the different steps involved, handle the base case and many more, outlines the steps, then generating the response. Now I'm going to copy the code and let me test it here. That is a pass, really nice. Next, another Python expert level challenge, Faraday sequence. Asking the large language model to generate Faraday sequence. Copying the instruction and asking it here. And here is the response, just copying the code and testing it here. There seems to be an error, but this could be because of the Python version this system is using to do it. So going to copy the error code, going back to the window and pasting the error code. And now I got the answer, just copying it and testing it here. That is a fail again. It's trying to import a module. So going to give the error again, because these are mainly due to the Python version. So now let me try copying this code again, testing it here. That is a pass. So the error we saw is mainly because of the Python version this testing system is using. It's old version, but the code it wrote before focused on the latest Python version. So this should normally work. Third, ECG sequence. Copying the instruction, asking the large language model to create a function to generate ECG sequence in Python. Just running it. For this, it's taking more time to think. Now it's already 17 seconds, 18 seconds. Sometime there might be an error for this as well because of the Python version. Let's see if it's able to identify. Just copying the code and clicking check. That is a pass, really nice. Next one try Java expert level challenge, Bishop challenge, just copying the instruction, asking the large language model. Seems like I need to give this proper structure for it to generate the correct code. So just copying the code as well. That is a default template. And just saying in this format, clicking run, got the code here, just copying it testing it here. That is a pass, really nice. And finally, C Sharp, expert level challenge. Three sum problem, copying the instruction in C Sharp and clicking run. Here also I need to copy the template, just saying in this format, clicking run. And I got the code here. Let me test it here. That is a fail, let me try that again. I can see for some of the steps it is passed. So just copying this, giving the error message and got the code here, just copying it and testing it here. That is a fail again. Not sure if this C Sharp environment is old version as well, but I can see for most of the things it's pass. I'm really impressed with the coding ability. Considering is able to write all these complex problems. Next, logical and reasoning. How many words are in your next response? Clicking run and it says I cannot predict the exact number of words in my next response because it depends on the specific prompt. That is wrong. Let me try again. How many letters in your next response? Clicking run. Since I haven't written my next response yet, I don't know for sure. That is wrong as well. Give me 10 lines ending with Apple and clicking run. And I got the answer here. That is right. How many R's in the word strawberry? Clicking run. In summary, there are two R's in the word strawberry. That is wrong. O1 was able to answer this correctly. Going to ask multiple questions, logical and reasoning question at the same time. 
clicking run and it's going through one by one and here are the answers and I can see they all are correct. That is brilliant. Technically, for how many words in the next response, how many letters and for counting the number of letters, it requires more reasoning ability or more thinking. And finally, misguided attention test. So here is the next question. Imagine a runway trolley is hurtling down a track towards five dead people. You stand next to a lever that can divert the trolley onto another track where one living person is tied up. Do you pull the lever? And here is the answer. There is no easy answer and the best course of the action depends on the ethical framework you prioritize. That is wrong. So it's telling about saving greater number of lives. This model thought that the five people or living but here the instance is five dead people so that is wrong overall i can see a good ability in programming but i feel like there is a slightly improvement required in regards to self-reflection apart from that i'm really impressed with this model considering you already like gemini 2.0 flash experimental i have also created another video which is about gemini 2.0 testing which i highly recommend for you to watch to see the comparison and i will see you there